know that's Belle. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. Still no reading, but I'm just still doing just random clips at this point. Uh, I do put a couple weeks together in this one because it wasn't enough without it because I wasn't vlogging, like I said, just showing you things I would get when I would think to do it or when we would have some food that I would remember to take some videos of. But I did get book mail and there's a lot of hauls. <laughs> So I hope you enjoy it. Got in my Bathman Body Works order. They had they sent me a 30% off coupon, so I saved over a hundred dollars. So and I stocked up, get one for a while, and I got one expensive thing that I've been wanting every Halloween for years. It was so expensive, but with this coupon, I went ahead and did it. First, sweet cinnamon pumpkin, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. Mm, that smells good. And a Halloween one. Ghoul friend. <laughs> Another Halloween one. Vampire blood. Another Halloween enchanted candy potion. Mm, that smells really good. Pumpkin cinnamon bun. Mm, I like that one a lot better than that other cinnamon one. That one was a little too like cinnamony type. My husband would like that one probably better, the cinnamony one. And then pumpkin peanut brittle. And then pumpkin cum cupcake is one of my favorite candles. I didn't see it on there, I don't think I did. So I got the hand soap. That's the foaming one. I usually like to get the Halloween wallflower night lights. And this one this year was really cool. Wallflower goes in there. The scented wallflower, and it'll light up too. So it's pretty cool for this year's. And then I don't always get the Halloween or fall candle holders, like this. Got a couple this year. Owls are my second favorite animal, so this one was owls. I don't understand why this is so much. I thought it was a little candle holder, but it's huge and it's heavy. Put a candle in it, it kind of lights up the whole thing. So that's all. That's some book mail, so I cut it open. Hey! My third reached out to me and I said, if I would read and review her book. And I said, yes, because it sounds amazing. Emma Murphy and the Ultimate Power. She sounds so good. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Father reached out to me. She said some nice words like, I was her favorite books. Bookstagrammer from Middle Gray, and that she was just so sweet. She made my day. Said she finally got some arcs in of her book that's coming up in September, and it's one of my highly anticipated releases. So when she asked if I, she could send me one to read and review, of course I said yes because it sounds so good. And she offered to give uh, send one for me to do a giveaway, so I'm gonna do that. And it's The Whispering Fog by Landra Landra Jennings. So excited! Thank you so much. Emma Murphy by Sarah Lloyd's out now and The Whispering Fog comes out September 13th and I did do the giveaway already and I, on my Instagram so I did that and the winner was chosen they've already received the book and everything so that was fun and thanks again to the author for sending an extra book. Everything in Hobby Lobby's spring shop went on sale and I waited till it got to a good percentage off. So I got to 75% off, so I went. And their Ray Dunn stuff is in their spring shop for some reason. <laughs> so, and they have this mini fridge and I've always wanted like one of these for like my skincare stuff. And it's regularly $99, but I got it for 20. <laughs> so that's the reason I got it. So I'm really excited. And then I got this bird bath. The one I wanted with the middle part raised up with the solar light. They were already out of those even though they had hundreds last time I went. So I got that one. And it was regularly $70. I got it for like $18. I'm not even take it out of the box though because it's September 1st. I'll put up my Halloween stuff. So I'll just keep it like that till next year. One thing for fall I got this time. My fall stuff was 40% off. And I needed a new baster because I remember the turkey because mine broke last year. So I just got this set. This was a $4 thermometer to put on the thing. It's 
really pretty. When I planted this one, it was just really little, though. These have been growing, growing a lot. Not just that, you can see the little woods in between. And it's got the hangies growing. <laughs> it's gonna end up being like that. I was wondering how they did that. But this one's got... <laughs> some book mail and a Sephora order so I thought I'd share it with you. So that um, mascara I'd gotten that one time, the Lacombe Eyedow Lash, I really liked it. And I was almost out. So I got some more of that. And I was completely out of this so I got some more. The Glow Recipe Marina Cinema Dew Drops. The Watermelon Glow. I'm sick by the way too. <laughs> And I think I'd showed y'all. I got a full size of the Charlotte Tilbury powder after I liked it. And since uh, I've been outside so much, just trying to keep busy, uh, I, I protect my face, but the rest of my body gets tan really easy with not even trying. And so I, in the full size, I got the number two and I'm almost out of it. So I got another one in the medium. And I really like the Laneige sleepy mask like the original so and I heard great things about these um, glowy bombs so I wanted to try them I got berry and gummy bear so we'll see what I think of those and then I alternate between shampoos and conditioners I'm gonna wash my hair and the second set <laughs> I'm just about out of so I got these the Bondi boost thickening therapy shampoo and conditioner my good reviews this thing from Harper Cons and it's really thin so I think I know what it is. Yay! The pre-order for my finished copy of Soul Forget and Evil with the pre-orders you got a uh, keychain. I'm very excited last time. They did a pre-order and I got that uh, composition notebook thing. And then yay! And then so it's from Harper Collins UK, which I always think is so great that they sent me something. Yay! Yeah. And these came out July 7th. And a classic collection of stories especially chosen for young readers by children's book expert Julia Equasher. These classic stories are wonderful to share and enjoy with your child at any time of the year or would make a perfect birthday gift. They're stories for four year olds. Beautiful illustrations. Show them better in a book haul, which you'll probably have seen by now. Stories for five year olds. Stories for six-year-olds, stories for seven-year-olds, stories for eight-year-olds. Thank you so much, HarperCollins UK. That's so awesome. Thank you so much for sending me these. I'm so excited. So that was everything I got and I wanted to show you. Get a Michael's order because uh, there was a coupon online and all sorts of other stuff. So got some. This is a light up house. Got Halloween stuff. And there's a switch. Got this other witch. I'm not gonna take her out of the plastic yet. I hate it when these look bigger online and I don't know that they're little figurines. Same with this one. Got this. this. Got one each of the pillows. To go with that other pillow I got. It's the Tuesday, whatever short was. depressing on here it's just every day is bad <laughs> I just miss her so much 
and there is no good days it's just some days it's I can every day I'm struggling not to cry some days I just do better at that than others but I vacuumed this couch and other places that shouldn't show up but her hairs make an appearance and I like to think that's her leaving her hairs for me it helps a little bit I feel her having a good week all right y'all my one thing that wasn't with my Michael's order they shipped separately and it took longer came in for real that one on another of these it says happy halloween slide up light up trees and there's a pumpkin top that's cool and then i got some book mail and i know who it is by the return address and i'm so excited yay this is one of my most highly anticipated releases i love i read and loved kingdom of secrets first by this author loved it so much and the author is christine morell and she messaged me on instagram and said she appreciated my all my support she sent a really sweet message and said when i get um, my author copies can i send you a copy and, and i was like yes of course oh and she's got a sweet message here she personalized it and she wrote a little message and signed it that's so nice and it's treks i'm so excited and it's so beautiful that was so sweet or she did not have to do that especially a finished copy thank you so much i'm so appreciative so excited so grateful and it just made my, especially the sweet words also the message and what she wrote on him i'd always just so thank you so much thank you, thank you thank you thank you so excited and since it is coming out very soon this is going to get bumped up like the uh, books do that are coming out soon or so we'll be reading this after probably after i finish this one which comes out this coming tuesday today is um, what is today? Saturday, August 13th, and this one comes out the 16th, so I'm on page 121, so after I finish this one, I'm going to pick up this one. Thank you so much, Christine. That was so sweet of you. I'm so grateful, and I'm so excited. It just sounds amazing. This comes out August 30th, and I just finished it the day before yesterday, I think it was, and I absolutely loved it. I need to write my review up, but so that'll be in upcoming recent reads, but I loved it think just as much maybe more than her last book this was just such a great read such a unique creative story so I highly recommend it comes out August 3rd got two more small bookcases for the Alice in Wonderland room still I keep the paperbacks and the hardcovers on separate shelves and this room is the books I've read and the paperback ones were full and but the ones that I have the hardcover on I think I have one extra of that because I have more hardbacks I think I'm not sure but <laughs> um I still have some room on one of those but it's almost done so I got two more so I put some paperbacks and then whatever the next one's needed for and then I need to clean up and organize in here I'm storing a lot of the Halloween stuff that I've been buying recently in here. So I need to get that together and put it in like a separate tote until the 1st of September. So I can see how much room I have. And there's a door in here I need to get rid of that we took off the closet in my book room. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Oh, there's one other thing I don't think I've shown y'all. My husband put two shelves over my desk on each side of the window. So I can put more books up there. And... I thought maybe even putting another one above the top one. But we got like the wood and sawed off the um, inch that we needed in the bracket. Kind of like he did on the one underneath the air conditioner over here. So I love that. Alright y'all, that's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you would like to subscribe, I would love that if you'd like to. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.